in, guys. Hope you're well. Same for seven with Max on either side. Uh, we will place the embargo towards the end for 10.30 on Saturday evening. Just bear in mind that it's a Sunday's open section, so it'll be busier than normal when you have hold of the mic. Is that with the in place? Hi, Pat. Uh, can I check in on your fitness of the players that you could expect back? Kevin De Bruyne, Nathan Aki, any chance? I don't think so. No chance at all? Mm -mm. Does that mean that they've had setbacks? or No, but not really. They are training, they are in the last part, and by yesterday, Nathan was the first training mm -hmm. with the team, so, you know, maybe they, maybe, maybe they can travel, but I think to start is not, not ready. Anyone else got any issues? or uh, Some of them, Brazilian, uh, uh, Manu, uh, today was day off, so today we'll, we'll see how they feel. We'll see it between today and tomorrow, we'll, we'll know exactly. And just looking ahead to the, the Wolves game, obviously you always say after the international breaks that these matches are difficult no matter who you face, but what do you think of the challenge of going to, to Molyneux to face Wolves after the break? They got less points than we deserve. That's all I can see with this long international break that I had time to see a few games. They got less points than we, they deserve. So always have been tough with Wolves uh, since Nuno Espiritu Santo was the manager since all the time it will be an exception. Thank you. Yep. Hi, Pat. Um, Thomas Tuchel was appointed as the England manager this week. <clears throat> Eddie Howe this morning has already said he wasn't approached. Was there any approach from the Football Association to you at all? Manager Thomas Tuchel is the manager, so let's congratulate them for the FA and, uh, and, uh, and Thomas for uh, uh, a big job and I wish him uh, England for just for the fact that, of course, I'm nine years here, the very, very best for both of them. It's obviously provoked a bit of a debate about whether the England coach should be an Englishman. Mm. As someone yourself who's worked here for nine years now, do you think there is an issue with the amount of elite coaches that England is producing? Look, th there is one thing, like every human being, no intervene on zero, zero intervene. It's where we born. We don't decide of that. Mum and dad decide in certain moments, and nine months later we are here. But we don't dec decide. I didn't decide to be Catalan. You don't decide to be. Didn't decide to be English. So that is a reality, the influence. So I understand completely the people because it's normal, you know, the be managers for the national team when you were born. But uh, at the same time, in this world. In this world, when English manager is, you know, FA, FA and national from UK is going bad, bad, he will be destroyed. So he is question of results. And now the federation from UK decide, you know, to, for a foreign manager with a well-known, recognized for his talent, and and I wish him very best. So I, my point of view can be, you know, some opinions, but. I would like to support him unconditionally because he will represent your country the very best. He will represent for his knowledge, for his wisdom, to do to do to do the best. And he wins will be completely prized, and if he loses will only criticized. But it doesn't matter if it's a foreign or not a foreign. The federation decides is the right person to lead this transition and follow the incredible job that Gareth Southgate has done, and 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 that, that is going to happen. So. I know we are proud, you know, where we are, where we were born, where we live, the education that we had, but the world is so big, so big, and you have to be open mind, you know, to, to, I came here to learn from all of you. So I'm not here to, you know, to give you my experience from another countries. I came here to give what I know, but to get a lot. That is all about. Look what happened all today all around the world in the wars we have because you believe you are better than the other one. What happened in Russia and Israel, in Ukraine and Gaza and, and all these places in Africa. So it's terrible. It's just because we believe we are better than the other one. And we are not. It's just who we are. We try to travel. We try to all around the world to share experience, to meet people. And that makes us absolutely better. And I think they decide to support 100%, like we happened before with Gareth and, and the very best from England and, and all the people. So, but. I don't like to just be criticized for just the fact you were born in a place like you didn't intervene. <laughs> you, you know, I'm not guilty to be Catalan. I'm not. So I just were born there. But after I 
learn a lot there and in Germany and in Mexico and in the Middle East and now in England and that is have a incredible friends and everywhere and that is what it is. Uh, Pep, just to, to clear up, because it's been widely reported that the FA did have some sort of conversation with you about the possibility of you becoming the England manager. Did Thomas, Tuchel, Thomas Tuchel is the manager, so I, I know forget about now, it. But be, but I'm, I'm a manager from Man City. The conversations I have is with Man City. This is what it is. So, Tuchel is the manager already, so Thomas is that. This is the most important thing. The rest is not important. On that, though, I'm not on your own situation. Um, I know you've spoken in the past about your future and possibly managing a national team. Whenever this journey ends, is that still something you yep. would like to do? Yeah. And is it something that you can foresee happening next after Manchester City? I mean, how do you view your future in the game as it stands? I right have now? to decide. I said, I, I, I don't know when I'm talking about it. I said many times, and hopefully you don't, all of you don't ask me anymore. So mm. I didn't take a decision already. When I would take it, I will inform you for sure, 100%. That's why I don't, there is no news, and that's why I don't have to add absolutely anything else. And Wolves is my priority, my players, how they come back for the national team. That is only I'm concerned. Hi, Pat. Um, what will you and the club lose with Cheeky going at the end of the year? And uh, are you looking forward to working with Hugo Viana? Well, a part of me is living, I would say. So a friend of mine, one of the... I would say the architect to create one of the best teams ever from Barcelona in that time and now here. A friend of mine and yeah, I knew the decision for a long time, you know, he, for the family reasons, personal reasons and I know how grateful he is, he is for this experience here. Uh, personally it will be missed, uh, but of course the, it will be missed a lot, but for the confidence, for the trust, for especially in the bad moments, for because he made me incredible balance in my job because I'm so energetic. When I'm going bad, I want to destroy everything. And all the time said, see you tomorrow, take a coffee. And his balance to, you know, to be completely crazy in the other one, his post helped me a lot in my period in Barcelona and of course here. Um, but I had the opinion that the club is so solid, incredible wall structure. And like has to be like that in all the families we have to move on and the club will move on. Hi Pep. Um about Cheeky again, he'll he'll be in here twelve years now. You're in your ninth year. Um may is it fair to say that neither of you expected to be here so long and apart from the weather, what's made you stay? You're right. You are completely right in aspect, but it happened because we won a lot. Otherwise, my chairman adored me, but he would have sacked me if the result was not good. So the relations, whatever happens is there, will be there. But uh, it had been long because we won a lot. There's no secrets. Here it doesn't matter where you were born. If you don't win, your position, everyone asks you, you know, to be sacked. And if you win and have success, the people support you. So it's not much, I would say, complicated than that. <coughs> yeah, uh, there was a period in the first uh, season where uh, was uh, lost a couple of matches in a row or didn't win in a row in the first season you were here. First season? Yeah, the first season, so eight years ago now. But uh, how important was his support and backing back then when there was some pressure on you and people were wondering if you were I was able not, to adapt to it? Yeah, but of course, I was so grateful, but I was not surprised. The reason why I came here, because one of the reasons for the potential future, but especially we got a few friends, like it was Farhan and Chiki were here. In that time, I didn't know my chairman, I didn't know my owner, I didn't know the players and staff, backroom staff, I didn't know almost anyone. But I knew them, and to me, have the hierarchy above of me that support me, I, I, it was not a surprise. I'm so grateful, because it could be different, but I work with them, especially with Chiki in Barcelona, and I knew it was going to happen. Always. Always we try to find a solution, not to blame what is going on. And that's why you appreciate the bad moments that all the managers we have, how close the people that is above of you is, is close to you. And this is what happened. Have the, have the club said to you when 
ideally they want a decision on your future? Never, ever. I've done it and never do it. Never. I don't feel it. Because does the do you think there comes a point in the season where they will need they will need to? Yeah, know? of course. But I'm pretty sure that uh, the club have an option when Chiki should leave, and they have options when Pep will leave. Sooner or later, it's going to happen, and they are prepared. So it's not be a, a surprise. They know that I have to. Every sport director or manager or whatever, mm -hmm. when they have the chance, that, that's why I'm here for many years. I want to be really, really, really convinced that it's the best for the club. I will not delay every action knowing that I am creating a problem in the club. If I feel I have a problem right now, I would take a decision as quick as possible. But I don't have that feeling because they understand me my, the reasons that I have. And that's why Walls is the priority. Just um, obviously Cheeky effectively appointed his successor. Would you, would you want any input into who takes over from you? If they asked you, would you give your opinion? Of course, for the relation I have, if they ask me an opinion, I will give my opinion, but it's not my job. The decision will be taken for them, not for me. No, no, it belongs to the club, but if it's my opinion, I will give it to them, like a friend, like a people who share unbelievable moments together, but it has to be the club, you know? It's the best. So I would say the new sporting director, the moment I'm not here anymore, so he has to choose the new manager. Just on the, <clears throat> your decision, what factors will influence mm. that decision? Will it be your own personal feeling? Will it be a family? Will it be the players? What? The weather. I'm, change, I'm waiting to change. And after we take a decision. But in terms of you, you know, your relationship with the players, that's as strong as ever? And... Uh, strong as ever, yeah. It's good. Really good. The embargo for 10.